All right, Dan Shore, here at the running event with Sunto. Yeah. What's going on? Why are you guys in Austin and uh, just here with great products? Yeah, so um, Sunto is kind of going through a bit of a, of a renaissance. We've had some changes to our business over the last few years. We're an independent company, again, for the first time in, in decades. And with that comes kind of a renewed strategy and a focus on independent retail. And so, you know, that's been my focus for the last 15 years. Joined up with Sunto about six months ago to really lead the charge for Sunto in the Americas. You know, we're a Finnish company, so European brand coming into the U.S., which is kind of the opposite of a lot of the brands that are here, although certainly more coming from, from Europe uh, or other parts of the world. Um, but we're really here to showcase some great new product and really reintroduce the brand to the especially running and especially outdoor retailers. So reintroduce new product. What do, what do we have? What are you guys excited about at, at TRE this year? Yeah. So we've got, um, well, we've got three watches laid out here, but but two are, are new in, in 2023. So in May, we released the Vertical, which is really our flagship, um, flagship adventure watch. So Sunto is almost a 90-year-old company, 87 years old. We were founded in 1936, and we've really been about adventure and navigation since then. I mean, it started with uh, a compass. I don't want to say a simple compass because what made it special was it was different than any other compass that had ever existed. And now fast forward, um, we've gone through the gambit of, of various product lines from you know, uh, various precision instruments on the compass side to dive products to kind of your more basic uh, altimeter barometer compass watches and for you know, the better part of a decade and a half GPS devices. But the vertical really takes Sunto back to the forefront of the GPS devices that are on the market globally. Uh, it's the first watch from Sunto to have full offline mapping. What's great is that it's global and it's free. So, you know, you don't just get the map where you're located, you can download maps from anywhere in the world. It's all, you know, coming through the, the Sunto app. Um, so we're really excited about this watch, just the accuracy of it and the battery life. So there's two different styles of it. There's a stainless steel style, and then there's a titanium style, which also has solar charging capabilities. So you can expand the battery life from being 60 hours of GPS, continuous GPS usage on the most precise uh, setting, to 85 hours. And then even newer, and we're, we're really excited about this one, not, not that we're picking favorites, but uh, it is on my wrist at the moment. This is the Sunto Race. So Sunto Race, is really targeting that performance athlete. So probably the, the bulk of the individuals that are shopping at the Run Specialty uh, Channel stores. Um, what's great about this watch is it has what's called an AMOLED display. So AMOLED is a super bright, vibrant display. Um, why we hadn't seen a ton of that in watches or in performance sport watches until now is because of battery life. It, you know, think bright colors, it consumes a lot of battery life. It was super important to us to be able to have the battery life, the durability that our consumer needs. So even on a watch with a super bright display, you're getting um, 40 plus hours of continuous GPS usage. So um, that compares to some of our competitors on similar settings, maybe 15 hours uh, of GPS usage. Now, most people, right, they think, how often am I gonna run 15 hours at a time? Maybe not that often, maybe never, right? So charging every night, no big deal. Yeah. But in reality, it's the difference of being able to pack for the running event and not bringing a charger. It's the difference for somebody who's running a 100 mile or an ultra event and having it last the entire event. So, you know, that's what's really exciting. And you get, you know, that super great, vibrant look that you want and that, you know, you're starting to see in other areas of smart watches and things like that without having to sacrifice really the performance functionality. Yeah, yeah, the, the, so I was gonna ask about the battery life. So it, it, an industry standard for these, you know, the most precise setting of a GPS watch, are you saying that's around 15 hours or is? On an AMOLED display, yeah. that's what we're seeing yeah, okay. in what's called memory and pixel or yeah. MIP, which is what the, the vertical has here. And 
well, we'll kind of showcase that. Um, so, you know, not quite as vibrant. I mean, still no. bright enough, um, but it doesn't have the same color. It doesn't have the same resolution. That you're probably seeing more like 25 to 30 hours, depending, and it depends on the size of the watch. I mean, there are definitely watches that are 40, 45, and beyond, but again, in this, in this type of display, we're at between 60 and 85. So you're, you guys are, yeah, you're rounding like two and a half X, what, you're, what we're seeing is an industry norm for, for battery life with those settings. Absolutely, and the other thing is, and this is kind of a cultural thing, being a Nordic brand, um, we want to basically be as precise as possible. So we're saying this is the battery life on the most precise setting. So this is what you can expect to get or more. Other brands sometimes play around with the numbers a little bit, not mentioning any names, <laughs> right? But are looking at other, um, you know, the most precise is gonna be dual frequency and then all of the various satellite systems. So there's five satellite, main satellite systems that are all circumnavigating uh, up, it's like 12,000 miles above our head. That's where our signal goes to. So if you're ever complaining about how long it takes to get a signal, <laughs> just know it's got a little, little bit to travel, right? But um, that's, that's the most precise. There are other very, very precise um, measurements, um, but maybe it's dual frequency and only GPS, or maybe it's all systems, but only one, uh, one signal, right? So those are the ways that can expand the battery. You're not giving up a ton of precision, but you are giving up some accuracy there, and that's where some other measurements sometimes come into play. Interesting. Uh, in terms of features within the product outside of battery uh, and display, what are the things that you guys are most excited about and you feel that stands out in these new, the new products, the race and the vertical? Yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, the most important thing for an athlete or whether it be a runner, a hiker, anybody who's using our, our, our watch is, is accuracy. I mean, we get, whether it's ourselves putting it through the paces or some very in-depth reviewers that are out there, um, they're putting it through its paces and it is showing to be time and time again not just the most accurate watches that we've ever made but some of if not the most accurate watches on the market um, so when you're looking at your distance measurements and your pace and all of that that's critical to know what you're doing also i would say for me personally what i'm really excited about for on the race and and ultimately this will come to the vertical as well is the uh the hrv so heart rate variability i mean that's become really popular within the elite athlete community as a way to say, hey, how am I feeling today? Should I push hard today? Should I back off? You know, and, and a lot of different things can contribute to that, sleep being one of them. So having, you know, a great sleep tracking to the point where I can see details around REM sleep or how was I up and doom scrolling on my phone like I was when I randomly woke up at, I don't know, two o'clock in the morning last night but then went back to sleep, and if I took a, a nap during the day, which I would love that opportunity today, but I'm not <laughs> getting it, that would also be added in, so I can see all of that, get those recovery metrics. And while these are not like mind-blowing uh, features necessarily, they exist on other brands, having that coupled with all of the other elements of these devices are really exciting, and I think brings Sunto kind of back to the, to the forefront. Um, that's, I'm looking at this table, it looks like watches are not the only thing that you guys are talking about this week. Oh, you mean the water bottle? No. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I mean, brand new for us a month or five weeks ago, um, this is the Sunto Wing. So Sunto Wing is a uh, bone conduction headset, and I think we got some, some music rolling through, I can't tell, it's maybe some Finnish Christmas music rolling through here from, <laughs> from UC's phone. Um, but the cool thing about bone conduction is you and I are continuing to have a conversation right now. I can hear you, I can hear the music, and you can't hear the music, or I hope you can't, right? Yeah. So, you know, that's the idea of bone conduction. And again, bone conduction's been around for a little while, but for us it was about taking it and expanding on what existed in the marketplace. So with our bone conduction product, um, what you have compared to others on the market, better battery life, for one, that tends to be a theme, right? Um, a better waterproof rating, 
So this is what's called IP67. What that means in layman's terms is I can drop this in the water and it's fine you know, for up to 30 minutes. I'm not gonna swim in it, but I could shower with it so that if I wanna listen to my podcast that I was listening to on my run, I can keep listening to it when I jump into the shower. Um, we've also added LED lights. So if you think about cycling or running in an urban environment, like here in Austin, if you're not you know, on Town Lake, um, you, know, you also have the lights and you can uh, change these in the app to be uh, uh, flashing or strobing and different patterns there. Um, and then also if you think about cycling, right? Um, having kind of the, the wind resistancy is super important because these have a microphone in them as well. So compared to our competitors, um, we have twice the speed, max speed for the wind resistancy. So this is gonna more or less eliminate or reduce wind noise up to 30 kilometers an hour. Or uh, for those that can't do the translation, we're, we're somewhere around 18.6 miles per hour, if, <laughs> if, my, uh, if my math serves me. Um, I'll let you uh, check on that in post, but um, that compares to 15 kilometers an hour from our competitors. So, um, and there's you know some other nice functionality. We have a charging dock that yep. comes with this, and that comes in the package. So these hold 10 hours of battery life. The dock, which is portable, holds another 20 hours. So you're getting 30 hours of battery with you and not having to touch a cord again, which yeah. is great. And then the last thing, it's kind of fun, um, you can set it up to have some head cues. So I can have this on, and I want to go to next song, and I don't know that this is set up for this, this sample, <laughs> but I can go boop and go to the next song. I can also answer a phone call, ride my bike, and lift up to answer answer the phone and, and take that call. Okay. So yeah, I mean, this is a, a new category for us, um, but we're really excited about it because it expands the story. And especially for running retail, um, as much, you know, if not more so than outdoor retail, it just gives another, um, another you know, proper extension to our product line that still you know, is in the electronics, in the technology space, still is authentic to our brand, but again, expands our story and can expand our importance for the specialty retailer. For, for those that have no experience with you know, this kind of, uh, of product, why the bone conduction, why is that been a, now a product that we've seen and, and a need for, for athletes? Absolutely. So, um, nothing's worse than hearing about uh, a cyclist that gets hit by a vehicle. Um, or maybe a little less morbid, you know, you're running along and you're saying, on your left, on your left, and the person just doesn't move because they've got their earbuds in and they've got their music cranked all the way up. This allows you to be aware of your surroundings. You can hear the people that you're running with. You can hear people that are behind you, around you, um, and still enjoy whatever it is that you want to listen to. Um, I don't know that you might ever listen to music while also running with somebody else, but you can still do that because I can listen to my music, I can run with you, Ryan, I can hear my music, I can hear you, but you can't hear my music. Um, and that's a really good combination. So there's a, a safety feature, a safety element to the bone conduction and the open ear style of headsets while still maintaining you know, the desire, call it a need in some cases for entertainment on a, on a run or whatever your adventure might be. So you, you mentioned the story of, of the brand. You know, I, I hear the products from you know, the, the Compass, the dive products, the, the watches, right? I'm thinking direction, depth, GPS, you know, uh, now there's sound. Yes. How, how did that fit in and, and come to be within the brand? Yeah, so um, some of it comes from kind of our, our new setup as a business. Um, so one of our uh, parts of our ownership is a company called Li Shang Technology. Um, they are one of the world's largest manufacturers of Bluetooth headphones. Um, and so they're a manufacturer, they're not a brand. Um, they now have a great brand in Sunto to work with. And so that's you know, the, the real version of kind of how these came to be in the market under uh. the Sunto portfolio so quickly, but it also, you know, is a fairly natural extension when we think about adventure and sports. You know, we still look at it as a sport product and not a consumer electronics product. And that's how we look at this whole range. And that's what separates a Sunto user from a, a generic smartwatch user or, you know, kind of earbuds or whatever else, 
you know, somebody might use on the sound side as well. So uh, three watches, one has been out, one vertical in May, you said launched. October yep. was the race, so very fairly new five weeks. Yeah. Um, and our new sound product yeah, five is weeks. also five weeks. Yeah, same day as the race. So everyone can find these out in the, in the marketplace now, out online. Yeah, so you know, right now, Sunto.com. Uh, you'll see them on uh, Amazon, on our, you know, Sunto USA selling on Amazon. And the reason why we're here is to broaden that distribution into a, you know, a running store or an outdoor steer store near you, right? And so, you know, we'll start to see more and more of your, your local run shops uh, carrying this full collection here in the not too distant future. Awesome. Uh, super exciting to learn about this. Anything before we part, when we think about running event 2024, will there be anything launched through the next 12 months that we should have our eyes out on? I can guarantee you there'll be more newness in 2024, but that's all I'm at liberty to discuss. <laughs> so, yeah, it'll Secrets be... Secrets at TRE. Absolutely. Uh, no, 2024 is going to be a really exciting year. Um, like I said at the beginning, you know, this is kind of a, a renaissance period, uh, a relaunch for the brand in the U.S. Um, you know, we've, we've set up a whole new structure. We've got our sales reps going out and visiting the retailers and selling in the line and and it's uh, only going to be bigger and better things, you know, between now and when we sit here together next year. Awesome. Dan, thank you so much for, for walking us through all the products. And uh, great having you here in Austin. Absolutely. Thanks, Thanks Ryan. Man.